love him or hate him, it's hard to argue that the president doesn't set the best example of social media use for kids. Welcome to the Hack Learning Podcast, progressive education that provides right now solutions and never requires a five-year plan. And now, here's your host, a man who believes old school teachers should be put in a timeout, Mark Barnes. Welcome to episode 104 of the Hack Learning Podcast. I appreciate you being here. And I, I want to begin today by sending out a thank you. Uh, you know, the show uh, is very popular. We have uh, thousands of listeners a month and a lot of regulars. And uh, we have some marvelous reviews. And I, I just want to give a shout out to Sheldon Soper of CertificationMap.com. Sheldon listens to the show and he was nice enough to uh, write a review over on his blog about it. And in that review, he says, The pod is reflective, insightful, and practical with tight, well-produced episodes. Each podcast is beautifully simple and optimized. It is hard to find a reason why you shouldn't carve out the time to keep up with a hack learning podcast. Sheldon Soper of CertificationMap.com. I just want to say thank you for that. I appreciate all of the marvelous reviews, and there's so many more that you can find over at HackLearningPodcast.com. They're right up top and uh, also over on iTunes. And if you're listening and you feel at all similar to Sheldon and anyone else writing great things about the podcast, please feel free to uh, jump on over and share your thoughts with the world because, as you know, uh, people value your opinion. And uh, you never know, we might pick up some more listeners and help spread the word about best practices in teaching and learning because of something that you write about the show. So thanks for listening and uh, give us a shout when you can. So in the open, I mentioned a hot button issue and this is not Hack Learning Uncut today, so <laughs> we're not going to push too many buttons. But uh, in the open, I talked about how whether you love them or hate them, it's hard to argue that our president doesn't set the best example on social media. You know, this is not a political episode at all. But what this is, is about teaching kids how to debate on social media. Because there's a lot of that going on, you know, whether it's a political issue or something else. Maybe it's an education topic. Anything at all that's out there, uh, kids are replying. You know, they're on social media. They're active. And they're out there in this world and it's really easy to get caught up in what people say. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of incendiary stuff out there. And it's easy for kids to get involved. And what we want to do as teachers, parents, as the, the, the influencers of children, we want to make sure that we're teaching them the right thing to do. So what I'd like to do today is share with you an excerpt from Shelly Sanchez Terrell's new book, Hacking Digital Learning Strategies, 10 Ways to Launch EdTech Missions in Your Classroom. And I chose this because I think this is just super important right now. And with all of the topics out there that are creating a lot of debate, and also they're creating this climate of disrespect. And, and I really hate that. And I don't want our kids caught up in that. So Shelly has a chapter in her book, and, and her book is about ed tech missions. So what she does is she shows teachers how to send kids on these missions that integrate technology and also skills that we need with technology, with social media, with any kind of back channel. And the missions then sort of broaden the horizon for kids, and they're not just doing one thing, but they're using a multitude of skills and tools to learn how to use technology the rest of their life the right way. In one of her chapters in the book, Hacking Digital Learning Strategies, Shelley writes a mission, and that mission is to teach kids to debate rather than diss, as in disrespect. And I'm going to share some of this with you, and if you stick around to the end, we're going to keep this short, but if you stick around to the end, I've got a special offer for you. I want to show you how to read almost all of Shelley's chapter in one place for free. It's a great preview into a marvelous book. And then uh, while you're there, also uh, there is, I'm going to offer listeners today 
uh, because I appreciate you so much, I'm going to offer you uh, an opportunity to go to the Times 10 Publications Bookstore and grab Shelley's book at a 25% discount. So stick around in the end and I'll tell you how to do that. Shelley begins as we do in most hack learning books with the problem in this chapter. Let me share some of that with you. So the problem is online arguments result in personal attacks. Here's what she says. Lately, the news has featured the long-standing Twitter feud between President Donald Trump and the media. The public has criticized both sides for their behavior. At one point, the argument escalated and the president tweeted a gif of himself symbolically body slamming CNN. The news media took offense, claiming the gif encouraged violence toward reporters. The office of the president and Twitter disagree. This incident exemplifies the nature of many online arguments. Children to adults share their opinions openly on social networks, but are offended when others disagree with them. They react with aggression or resort to personal attacks. All involved seem to overlook the true issues, and all parties leave the conversation upset, learning nothing new about the topic, and missing a powerful opportunity for debate to open our minds and elevate our thinking. We needed to transform the digital debating mindset and help students see debate as a vehicle to strengthen their intellect and character. Now I'm moving forward a little bit where in Shelley's book, she then goes to the mission. Oftentimes in a hack learning book, we identify a problem and the hack, but because she's doing education technology missions, she calls the solution to this problem the mission. So here it is. Engage in a thought-provoking online debate. The first steps lay the groundwork for this mission to participate in a respectful and thought-provoking virtual debate. Rich debate keeps the conversation going, celebrates differences of opinions and perspectives, and values well-constructed arguments. All involved realize how a strong opponent opens their minds challenges their beliefs, and improves their critical thinking skills. Additionally, healthy debate fosters peace, promotes democracy, and builds community relationships. Our digital citizens will learn how to craft clear, persuasive, and compelling arguments for an online forum. Their argument will state their positions, help their peers understand the reasons and logic behind their positions, and back up their views with support and evidence. So basically Shelley is saying what we need to do is put kids on this mission where they will engage in a thought-provoking online debate. You can't just tell kids, hey, go out there and debate because we know the problem. It often ends poorly. Shelley says we have to teach these kids how to do this and she has a blueprint. Her next section is called Mission Prep. And this is sort of like what you can do tomorrow in other hack learning books because we need right now solutions. So I want to give you some of these. Nice thing is, whether or not you're reading this, you read the rest of this chapter, because I'm going to tell you where to go to, to find it, uh, whether or not you get the book, I'm going to tell you where you can get that and how you can get 25% off today. You can still read this or just listen to these steps in this mission prep, and you could do something valuable tomorrow with kids. So here's what Shelly says in her mission prep section for this mission about teaching kids effective debate. Online. As we know, online debates escalate quickly and bring out the worst in people. Young people may question the value of spending their time listening to beliefs and opinions different from their own, and they may attack the individual instead of logically rebutting specific points. The activities here prepare learners to approach varying opinions with an open mind and focus their arguments on the issues. And here's what Shelley suggests. First, Confront fears, myths, and intolerance. Anonymously poll students on their attitudes toward participating in respectful debates. Find a list of possible questions for the poll in the Mission Toolkit. Now, the Mission Toolkit is a section at the back of Hacking Digital Learning Strategies that has these templates and these um, strategies you can use in class. There's some downloadable things in there, or if you have the book, you can just photocopy them. It's a tremendous resource. So she gives you some resources there in that mission toolkit in the book for um, setting up the questions for this poll. 
present the poll results and host a discussion about tolerance, open-mindedness, and how differences help us grow and progress. First step to confront fears, myths, and intolerance is an important one to poll kids. And even if you don't use a polling feature, you could just set up some questions and have kids discuss it. And the idea is we're setting a foundation for then moving forward with effective debate online. The next part of uh, Shelley's mission prep says, play the agree-disagree warm-up. Students must take a stand on issues to be skilled debaters. Use masking tape to create a line on your classroom floor. Line students up on the left side of the tape facing you. State a claim such as, dogs are better pets than cats. Instruct students to remain standing on the left side of the line if they agree and to move to the right side if they disagree. Students then face their peers. Starting on the left, each student gives one reason to support the claim. Then students on the right give reasons that dispel the claim. Continue this activity with safe topics and coach students to handle increasingly intense topics. What a marvelous step in getting young people to understand effective debate. Think how easy that is. As I said, if you didn't read this over on a, uh, the Hack Learning site, if you don't have the book, you can leave this podcast and you can do this stuff immediately. And that's what we do at Hack Learning. Another step in Shelley's mission prep. At various intervals, share rules and guidelines for building a safe environment to share opinions. Record these guidelines and tips to review later. For example, before students share their reasons why dogs are better pets than cats, state the rule that all must respect the listener. Elicit examples of how we show respect to foster understanding of the rule. After the first sharing of reasons, guide a group discussion to identify the components of strong reasoning. Another step that Shelley identifies in mission prep is identify the guidelines for fostering a good online debate. She also says that we should improve online arguments. Show the class an example of an online argument that went awry. Boy, those are easy to find on Twitter, right, or Facebook or anywhere. The initial opinion should be strong and exemplify good writing techniques before the conversation descends into an argument within the string of comments and she gives you a great resource, Reddit. That's R-E-D-D-I-T. Reddit's Change My View Forum has great examples of strong arguments followed by good and bad counterarguments. The arguments and comments must meet strict criteria, and the moderator pulls any comments that violate the rules. Have the class analyze the strengths and weaknesses of the arguments and come up with guidelines for their own arguments. There's so much power here. And those resources, by the way, can be found uh, in Shelley's book, Hacking Digital Learning Strategies. But there's so much here about getting kids started down the right path. Imagine if we take our young students and our children and we use these specific strategies to model good debate and to identify arguments that are effective versus arguments that are incendiary, the ones that create conflict and get people barking at each other to, you, you know, uh, using Shelley's uh, dog and cat example. Uh, we sort of bark at each other on social media and we want to teach kids not to do that. Now, of course, in Shelley's book, she also has what in Hack Learning we look at as a blueprint for implementation of a plan. She's got a mission launch, which takes these strategies and expands upon them. You know, in Hack Learning, we use pushback and Shelly has a section in each chapter she calls mission obstacles and these are wonderful and there's also of course a mission in action where she says hey here's what this looks like in the classroom and shares people in the field who are using these strategies and it's truly amazing as I said earlier I would like for you to take a look at this entire chapter. I don't want to go through the whole thing. There's so much rich content, and I don't want to spend an hour on this show. And I'd like for you to see it. So we're going to give you most of it, almost an entire chapter. You could use this immediately in your classroom. And all you have to do is head over to hacklearning.org slash debate. That's hacklearning.org slash debate. And you will find this chapter from Shelley's book, this mission. You'll find a whole lot of in-depth strategies, links to resources. It's super stuff. I want to make sure that you check it out today. You're going to love what's here. Again, hacklearning.org debate. 
It's also linked at hackowningpodcast.com under episode 104. And also, as promised, on that page, hacklearning.org slash debate, you will find links to Shelley's book. If you click those, there is a get 25% off with a code. And all you have to do is head on over there and use that code. Hey, you know what? I'm going to give it to you right here because you're a listener. If you go to that page, you do need to go to hacklearning.org slash debate. There's a link there to the book in our library. You click on it. You use promo code podcast. It's as simple as that. Add the book. When you're checking out, it'll say promo code. Type in podcast, all lowercase, and you'll get 25% off today. It's a fabulous deal. You're going to love this book. Check it out. Hacking Digital Learning Strategies, 10 Ways to Launch EdTech Missions in Your Classroom. And if you do nothing else, get over to hacklearning.org slash debate and learn all about Shelley's mission to teach kids to debate effectively. We start early, and there's no telling how much that will do for us to create incredible discussions on social channels rather than the ugly debates that we have now and the name-calling and all of the things that are so ineffective. Hey, thanks for listening. See you next time. You've been listening to the Hack Learning Podcast with edu-hacker extraordinaire, Mark Barnes. If your ears can stand it, listen to more at hacklearningpodcast.com and read a hack learning book for crying out loud. They're smart, practical, and shockingly inexpensive. Grab one today at hacklearningbooks.com.